the first round of 16 clash of the 2020 AFC Champions League saw Al Ahli Saudi taking on Al Ahli Dubai at the Al Janoub Stadium in Qatar. The last time the two teams met was at this stage back in 2017, with Al Ahli Saudi winning 4 2 on aggregate. Shabab dominated the early proceedings and got the opening goal in style. Azizan Ghaniyev's long-range strike came off Abdul Basit Muhammad before landing in the back of the net. 1-0 to the Emirati side on 28 minutes. Al Ahli Saudi had a chance to level matters from the spot in the 54th minute. No problems for Omar Al Soma. Both sides couldn't find a winner after 120 minutes of action and it was down to penalties to decide who will progress to the quarter-final. Al-Ahli Saudi were the first to take the kick. Hussein Omar making no mistake. Ahmad Khalil stepped up for Shabab. He failed to convert. Lucas De Lima then put Al-Ahli 2-0 up. Yusef Jabbar scored Shabab's first spot kick of the night. Abdul Rahman Garib then made it 3-1 to Al Ahli. Azizan Ghaniyev kept Shabab in the contest. Motaz Hasawi then sent keeper Majid Nasir the wrong way as Al Ahli began to believe it was going to be their night. Saeed Al Balushi ensured Shabab trailed by just one at 4 3. Omar Al Tsoma, who scored the equalizer earlier from the spot, now had the chance to win it for Al Ahli from the same spot. This time, the frame of the goal denied him. Abdullah Ali had to score to send the contest to sudden death. only to blast it into the Doha sky as Al Ahli Saudi progressed to the quarter-final for the first time in three years. The second round of 16 clash was between Uzbekistan's Paktakor and Estigral of the Islamic Republic of Iran who were meeting for the first time in nine years. For Paktakor, it's their first appearance in the knockout stage since 2010 Estegral had an opening on 32 minutes and they made it count. Ali Karimi with a well-taken free kick that gave keeper Eldorbek Suyanov no chance at all. Undaunted, Paktakor began to raise their game and in the 43rd minute, they put together the best move yet. Dragan Seran with the powerful header from close range, honours even at the break. Paktakor went in search for a second goal when play resumed. And took the lead within 78 seconds of the restart. Eren Derdiok at the end of a wonderful move to put the Uzbek side ahead. A well-taken goal indeed, and it was that strike that sent Paktakor to the quarter-final of the AFC Champions League for the first time since 2009. Persepolis of the Islamic Republic of Iran and Qatar's Al Sadd squared off at the Education City Stadium for the quarter-final spot on offer. The last time the sides met in the knockout stage was back in 2018 in the semi-finals where Persepolis emerged 2-1 winners on aggregate. After a goalless first half, it was Persepolis who set the pace. And they could have taken the lead after the hour mark. Only for the post to deny Isa al Qasir.
The 30-year-old striker tried again in the 70th minute. He did everything right, only to be thwarted by the crossbar. Persepolis weren't giving up. And on 88 minutes, they were rewarded for their persistence. Third time lucky for Isa al Qasir, the men in red in Dreamland. Al Saad tried to find a way back, but when Santi Carzola blew his effort, the night belonged to Persepolis. They go through to the quarter final for the third time in four years. It was an old Saudi affair in West Asia's fourth round of 16 clash at the Education City Stadium as Al Nasar faced off against Al Tawun. This was Al Nasar's third appearance in the knockout stage. And they were bent on making it to the last eight. The moment the Riyadh based club were looking for came in the 75th minute. Captain Abdurazak Hamadala at the right place and time to separate the sides. That was also his sixth goal of the campaign, which proved enough to seal Al Nasar's passage to the last eight for the second consecutive year. So it's down to four teams in West Asia. The quarterfinals will take place on the 30th of September at the Jasim bin Hamad Stadium.